I'm Court McGinley. Welcome back to our top 10 series where we give you super cool, amazing top 10 lists. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 craziest news stories. But before we get into that, I want to know what is the craziest thing that's ever happened to you? Let me know down in the comments. So for this list, I've compiled many funny, ridiculous, and you guessed it, crazy stories. So I hope you're ready for some laughs. And just, you know, all around making confused expression because some of these, they're just that crazy. Coming in at our number 10 spot, we have truck spill freeze a million bees. So if you thought you were having a bad day, just wait until you hear this story. We have a truck driver who was transporting a truck full of bees. Now I'm not talking like 50 bees or even a couple hundred. This guy was actually transporting 1 million bees. Now obviously, you're probably wondering, what is this guy doing with so many bees? Well, due to the shortage of bees, it is now necessary to transport bees to agricultural areas for pollination purposes. So this guy who was driving along, it was a nice June day along the I-90 in Idaho. When the unthinkable happens. The truck overturned, spilling out a million bees. This resulted in traffic being backed up for hours. Now, this in itself, it's pretty bad, but people were safe from the bees because they were in their cars. But just so happens that on this particular day, the town was hosting an Ironman triathlon event at the same time. Ouch. Moving on to number nine, we have car recovered from a tree. What, a car in a tree? Well, as crazy as it sounds, it's true. This happened in the UK on May 17th of last year. The driver of an M69 ended up in a tree. So like me, you're probably curious on how does something like this happen? Well, I don't know the full story because all the driver said was that she was going about 100 miles per hour and that she wasn't paying as much attention as she maybe should have been. But how does a car even end up in a tree? I don't get it. Both the driver and passenger walked away from the accident unharmed and the car was later recovered from the tree. And at number eight, we have raccoon rides an alligator. Well, we know this one's gonna be pretty interesting. This one was just too cute not to include on this list. And up until now, it's pretty unheard of, right? And you know, it's gone viral. Richard Jones from Florida is the man who captured this golden shot while walking along the river. From the looks of it, this fearless little raccoon, he jumped aboard the alligator in order to get a free ride. Perhaps this little bandit was tired from walking, so you know what, I'll just hop on top of this large, sharp toothed reptile and journey across the water. This is quite the innovative little raccoon. But this gator, he wasn't too happy with this mischievous little guy, trying to get a free ride. So he quickly tried to rock him off, but not before this awesome picture was taken. Coming in at number seven, we have an abandoned British village that's on sale. Yes, as crazy as it sounds, it's true. An entire village that has been abandoned for 50 years was put up for sale last month. The village in question is West Heselton in North Yorkshire, and it comes with 42 houses, a pub, a restaurant, a sports pavilion, an auto shop, sports fields, and to top that all off, a 21 bedroom historic hall, as well as 2,000 acres of countryside. This village used to belong to a woman named Eve Donnelly, who was an eccentric Oxford educated spinster. She inherited the village in 1964 when her father died, and it's been in the family for 150 years. Then she died and left this entire thing to her family. The family now put it up for sale and are asking for $20 million. Making our way into the number six spot, bus powered by human feces. Sadly, yes, you heard that correctly. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all for helping the environment, but this might be taking it a little too far. So to put this in nicer terms, the bus is located in England and it travels between Bristol Airport and Bath City Centre, and it's powered by Bethany. The main gas, which is generated through the treatment of human and food waste. This bio bus can hold up to 40 passengers and travels up to 164 miles on just one tank of, well, you know. According to Clean Energy Fuels, biomethane gas, when used to power vehicles, this can reduce greenhouse emissions by 88% compared to gasoline. Now this gas is chemically identical to natural gas, but it's used creating fresh matter instead of decomposed matter. So this is pretty crazy and I really want to know what you guys think about it. Do you think this is a little too out there or would you hop on this bus for a ride? Let me know down in the comments. So in at number 5, we have a drunk monkey wielding a knife, terrorizing a bar in a booze filled rampage. This little capuchin, which FYI are known for having a temper turned aggressive after helping itself to some rum in a bar. I didn't know monkeys liked rum, but hey, you know there's a first time for everything. The customers at the Brazilian bar were given quite the fright when the monkey became drunk and grabbed a kitchen knife and began aggressively approaching fellow bargoers with the knife. And apparently this little guy, he really likes the ladies because he only attacked the men. Firefighters were called and shortly after the monkey was captured. Coming at number four, we have Santa Claus wanted after stealing a chopper. Back in December, Brazilian cops were on the hunt for Santa Claus after he took off with a chopper. Perhaps the reindeer were taking a personal day that day, maybe he, they felt overworked, I don't know. Now we all know that this must be a Santa imposter because Santa, he wouldn't do such a thing. This man actually rented an aircraft from an air taxi service. Once in the air, he directed the pilot to fly to a small farm outside of the city. Once they landed, the imitation Santa, he tied up the pilot and got back in the helicopter and flew off. So far, this imitation Santa and the chopper, they haven't been found. But wait a sec, what if this was like the actual Santa and he needed a helicopter so he took it back to the North Pole? Nah. 
Moving on to number three, North Korean men ordered to copy Kim Jong Un's hairstyle. This one is the most absurd thing I've ever heard. As if everything else that's going on there isn't enough. Now all the men are supposed to look like him? Yeah, you guys all know about the haircut I'm talking about. Yikes. If I was a man in North Korea, I think I'd just move, honestly, because that haircut is just plain ugly. It's not only me that thinks this. This hairstyle, it's been a target of mockery for years. This order requires men to keep their hair no longer than two centimeters and cut it Kim Jong Un style. I just don't understand how this man thinks he can control people to that extent. Like to go as far as telling people what to do with their hair, that's a little crazy. In our number two spot, we have armed robber caught after unfriending victim on Facebook. We're so lucky to live in this day and age of technology. Many wonderful things have come from it, such as in this case where a man robbed a subway franchise getting $1,000 was caught when he unfriended the victim on Facebook. Once he was unfriended, he randomly suspected that this might have been the robber. So the police took a DNA sample and it was a match. He was sentenced to three years in prison. But come on, how stupid do you have to be to rob a place where someone you know works there? All right guys, let's recap. We've talked about bees, trees, and I wish there was more to rhyme with that, but since there's not, moving on. Raccoon riding alligators, abandoned villages, human feces, drunk monkeys, Santa, haircuts, and robbers. So far it's been pretty lighthearted and funny stories. But the one in the number one spot, it's a little morbid. I'm I'm just gonna warn you. Coming out at number one spot, we have Disneyland worker found dead in haunted house. This is supposed to be a place where you know dreams come true. Disney, what are you doing? One day just before the park was about to open to the public, a 45 year old technician that worked at the park was electrocuted in the Phantom Manor. It's believed that he was working on some lighting issues for the attraction when the incident happened. The technician has reportedly worked at the park in Paris since 2002. Also, this isn't the first death to happen at this park. In 2010, a cleaner died after getting trapped under a boat on the It's a Small World ride. Well, there you guys have it, our top 10 list of crazy news stories. I hope you enjoyed listening. I certainly enjoyed reporting them to you. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments which story you found the craziest and what top 10 list you want to see me do next. As always, have a lovely day and I will see you next time. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment. We have more stories right over here for you guys and you guys can follow me on Instagram at Court McGinley. Bye guys.